grab hold of my finger. The monarch, a beloved butterfly species whose population has been in decline, now getting a boost for the most unlikely of reasons, the California drought. Numbers of the majestic orange and black butterflies are in free fall as development chews up fields of milkweed, the only plant where the female monarch will lay her eggs. But in California, drought-tolerant milkweed species are gaining popularity as homeowners rip up lawns and plant desert gardens instead. Outside San Diego, Tom Merriman has seen firsthand how interest in saving water and saving monarchs has surged. More milkweed, more milkweed, more milkweed. Four years ago, Merriman didn't even offer milkweed for sale at his nursery. This season, he sold more than 14,000 milkweeds and now runs a nonprofit butterfly atrium on site. The milkweed's a very adaptable plant. It's, it's, it's co-evolved with the monarch. It's, it, it, it's a survivor plant. Anya Shortridge bought a few milkweeds last year after seeing how they attracted monarchs. Now she spends hours collecting the pinpoint-sized eggs, feeding the caterpillars. Ooh, he says yummy, fresh milkweed. She released more than 100 butterflies into the wild this summer alone. All right, how about you? Are you ready? But some experts worry that well-meaning drought gardeners could be doing harm by trying to do good. Many are planting non-native or so-called exotic milkweeds because they are more colorful, a choice that could affect the monarch's life cycle and ultimately make them more vulnerable. You're going to change chemistry, climate, biology. You're, you're changing all their habits. For now, the monarchs don't seem to be complaining. Milkweed popping up in backyards all over a bone dry state. Gillian Flaccus, Associated Press, San Diego, California.